Before the 650 twins came into the scene, people had a love-hate relationship with the Royal Enfield motorcycles. You either loved it for what it is, or you absolutely hated it. But the fact remained that the Royal Enfield motorcycles were flawed. When the 650 twins arrived, enthusiasts from all around the world unanimously agreed that the 650 twins were excellent. Not just in terms of performance and initial impression, but also in terms of reliability. Royal Enfield is looking to repeat that same success with the upcoming bullet. Let's see what we can expect from this new motorcycle. This upcoming motorcycle is not an updated version of the current generation model. It's a whole new product from ground up. Which means that everything will be new, like the engine, chassis, suspension, etc. Looking at the spy pigs, the only thing that's been carried over from the current generation model is the design. This prototype machine has retained most of the classic lines and shapes from the existing model. It's a design that a lot of us appreciate. There is nothing really groundbreaking here. So let's focus our attention onto some other big changes, like for example, the engine. Unlike the current motorcycle range, which gets two engine options, A350 and 500cc, it's rumored that the new model is probably going to have only one engine option, which is slightly close to or bigger than 400cc. Again, it's not confirmed, so please take this with a grain of salt. But what we can confirm is that the new power plant will be nothing like the existing engine. It will be a completely new unit. From the new crank and gearbox case design, that's kind of obvious. But the biggest giveaway is the new chain line. On the existing model, the chain runs on the right side, but on this prototype, it's on the left. That's a clear indication that the new engine packs some seriously new hardware. The handling was never been a strong suit of the Royal Enfield Bullet slash Classic. The hefty mass, weak chassis and suspension setup can be blamed for this. It seems that the Royal Enfield is finally addressing this issue with the new model. The prototype Spartan features a double cradle frame which should considerably improve the handling. The specifics about the suspension and the overall mass of the motorcycle is still unknown. However, both are expected to complement the capabilities of the new chassis. The front fork looks similar to the existing model. But the rear shock absorbers seems to be a traditional unit instead of a gas charger one. But that might also change, since it's a test bike. The prototype Spartan also features discs at both ends, and looks a bit larger than the existing units. Following the current safety regulation, it is safe to assume that the motorcycle will come with a dual channel ABS. The instrumentation layout is similar to that of the current model, with speedometer indicating speeds in both imperial and metric units. The speedometer also integrates a small digital display, and I sincerely hope that they put a fuel gauge somewhere in there. This new motorcycle was expected to launch by mid-2020. But with the current crisis, you shouldn't be surprised if Royal Enfield pushed the launch date to the third or fourth quarter of the 2020. So what do you guys think about this new upcoming Royal Enfield? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Stay safe and ride safe.